So, let's do some tank today. This is a match I played in a yes, solo queue I did a few days ago. And I don't play a whole lot of uh, Enforcer, but I do like the tank. I'm not sure why. I realize I actually haven't played any other, uh, any other Enforcers, so... But uh, of the Enforcers, the tank always appealed to me. Sort of a close range guy. Uh, kind of like Pyro from uh, Team Fortress 2. Only, you know, obviously a lot more HP and a bit beefier. And right now I'm just taking some pot shots at, at turrets and all that. Uh, double defenders are pretty popular these days. It's not uh, that strong if you know how to deal with it. Uh, assaults and supports can easily wipe out uh, nests with their explosives. But a lot of players don't realize that and they easily get mowed down by a lot of cats and fire bases. So right now, I just, uh, generally, I don't play Enforcer a whole lot, so I generally just play it safe. Uh, hang in the back, kill bots. And we do have, um, what is his name? I think Gaming Fueled. Uh, he was, I believe, the gunslinger in my last video that, uh, that pretty much killed me all the time. He is on my team this time, and he's playing Spark. And he helps us out a whole lot. It's always good to have a good player on your team. Over here. Now, see, they're a little overextended. I'm gonna head over there, and because uh, they're trying to right now, they're trying to take out our turret. So, I'm gonna head over there, uh, tear up their stuff. And this is where you have to watch out about the uh, ejector. You think you're safe from ejector just because you're not off to the side, but um, as you see here, I'm gonna get enough cash in a second here to use it by killing these bots. Just give some time here. Yeah, right there. Okay, she presses, uh, one of our other players uh, pressed it. And just because you're not um, in a spot to be wrung out by an ejector does not mean you're safe. You can easily be thrown over to our side there. Two people dead. A lot of momentum for us. So watch out for that. Because now I can easily just go over here and just really uh, push hard because um, the ejector cooldown is shared on both sides of the bridge. So I can safely cross and he's going to, yeah, easily kill him. First blood. Apparently those other kills were a system from bots or whatever. I'm not sure why I didn't really push the advantage. Um, I guess their team was coming forward. Like I said, I play real safe when I'm uh, playing class I don't know a lot about. Also, like you saw the last video with the uh, Gunslinger, I just overextended way too much. If you're not good at a class, then don't, don't be too risky with it. But I guess, you know, it's solo queue. So if you want to, you know, screw around, you really can. You're not really hurting anything. And at this point, we are, yeah, gaming fuels on top of stuff. I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm trying to kill bot at range with my jet gun. Not sure why I did that. Anyway, getting up here. Time for annihilator. Uh, start going for the since she's healing the, the healing the uh, tank. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the combat girl. And right there, right before I got uh, taken out, popped my shield on the uh, tank and decided to save my money since I have support on me healing. And they're still, they're coming back for a second round, so. But we're in a good spot here. We have three people. We got the fire base up. They're um, pretty low on life. I gotta watch out for those uh, fire bases with the, uh, what's it called, overclock ability. Do a lot of damage. As you see there, our spark. If you have a a grapple that throws a guy in a certain direction, uh, think about how you can use that besides just ringing people out. Throw them towards uh, your team, throw them away uh, onto a lower level so they have to waste time getting back up or burn cooldowns using abilities to get back up, like the assassin's jump. Uh, think of different ways to use your abilities. Don't. Um, there's some very obvious uses which are very useful, but think of think outside the box. So right here, you know, just finishing him up, uh, securing the Annihilator. And since I save my money on that um, Regenitol, I can actually afford the Annihilator. I'm pretty sure at this point most of our team can, but you never know who's going to... what your teammates are spending their money on, in a, especially in a solo queue where you don't have a lot of communication going on, so... It's always wise to try to, to save your money. 
And once again, going for the uh, defender. Because if they, if she's healing uh, the tank, she's not doing a lot of damage, so she's vulnerable. Yeah, pretty much cleaning up right here. And since we have the advantage, we have uh, killed one of their guys down. Their bots are pushed back and go ahead and uh, start pushing forward, take down another uh, turret. And you see right there, using our juice to uh, attack the turret. I'm going to go ahead and take him down since he's got his juice, or at least push him back. But the tank comes down and saves him at the last second. Let's see if I can. Eh, he pushed him back, which is, I guess, nice. Just in case you try to uh, snipe me off. I'm gonna go back in. And yeah, focus on that fire base. That really tears it tears apart bots faster than the uh, the actual bots will. And with the turret down, you pretty much go in there and clean up. I head back here. It looked like at first it looked like I was gonna be able to go in there and kill some uh, kill a tank and all that, but I saw that there are more than just uh, two of them, so I decided to uh, back off. Again, you have to, you know, judge like that. You see, if I had gone in there, I probably would have died. So I'm going to hold back. Because uh, right now, you see the green glow. That means my regen at all is active. So I'm going to just take it easy. Uh, gain a little health back before I go again. And this is great. Buying a bouncer while they're distracted. It's going to give me an easy kill on the combat girl. And it's going to pretty much wipe their team out. When you're buying bots, they're, they're a large investment. I don't like the blackjack bot. A lot of players don't. Um, if you're if you're trying to get some breathing room, it can be nice on occasion. But the bouncer is really great because if you get someone in a grapple, they're pretty much uh, going to die. But don't just buy them at random. Uh, make sure you can see how they'll be useful. In that case, they were distracted, so a bouncer is an easy way to gain an advantage. And you see right there, he still uh, he just died, so easily pushing, uh, easily able to make it. Uh, Easy to get a push there. I think someone just left the game, so it's gonna go pretty quickly. Not a not a quick game, but also not really a long one. And like I said, when you're pushing, don't get don't get blindsided. Make sure you're uh, watching, especially as an enforcer. Your goal is to uh, to push the bots, kill as many as possible. So just keep making sure you're pushing forward. Don't get uh. Don't get tunnel vision on one lane, because it's an easy way to get a to get uh, backdoored. And right here, once again, that they're relying a little bit too much on their turrets here, and I see it's easy for me to take down their turrets, just uh, aim and kill them off pretty fast. And from there we can easily bring down the uh, bring down their turret. Because right here, once you got the uh, team sort of uh, piled up here, it's really hard to pull them off. Because I got the regenerator all right there, and we have also have access. We have, you have a person who can tank the hits of the turret. You can easily spawn a bouncer. So really, got to probably cover from a different angle and setting up for the next uh, annihilator. Yeah, right here, got to pick your battles. If you um, if you think they can see you as a commando, you just kind of want to back off, especially if you're they're um, out leveling you. And yeah, like I said, he's got no one to get out. You can't wait till you're you're almost gonna die because a, a good player will be able to just snipe you off. In his case, he's still not backing off. He's gonna go ahead and try to push you their lane, which I guess his thought process is I can use my the uh, drain life of my gun to to sort of uh get my life back, but a commander can go down there easily and kill him. I say not to risk it, like I said. Uh, don't play this class a whole lot, so I'm gonna, gonna play it safe for now. Until I get a little more dressed to it. Um, they try to, uh, I guess, they try to push in here, but they probably should have stayed back towards their side a bit more. Because you saw they didn't have a Safe way to uh, back off because there's a uh, regenerator on their side of it, closer to their side, where if they have to go forward to our side, they want to get to the uh, closer one in that case. So be careful when you set up. So from here, easily going to take down the next tower. At this point, I'm going to just go ahead and uh, 
back off. Probably could have killed the, uh, the assassin, but not risking it. At this point, I have a four level advantage over that tank, so I can easily 1v1 one him. And then we also have the gunslinger to help as well, so yeah. Not a big challenge there. And once again, you want to sort of get ahead, guard the person, get an annihilator. And you see, you got a lot of. I was a little brief there, but I got a lot of bot kills at this point, which is what a good enforcer does. Just really push hard, and at this point, my levels are so high, I can kill all of them by myself. Once again, good use of a of a bouncer to really distract them while I go in and take a few shots at their rocket towers. And they're all sort of separated now. And you see right there the. The black tank really didn't do anything. It, I guess it's a distraction, but I just don't. 500, I'd rather just spend on something else. And right here, I'm going to try to bring him out, but um, had I had my charge up, I would have probably gone for that over the uh, the grapple. This one, I'm going to head back off a little bit. Yeah, he's trying to jump. Once again, see, the level difference is so big. Let's see if I can see his health right there. Yeah, it's just the little difference is so big, he can't really... He can't really jump me that well. Gonna regen, and at that point the bouncer, gonna buy another bouncer. When they're pushed in like this, bouncers are a really good investment. Might want to, um... Might help to accompany that with an actual bot wave, so they have uh, more to focus on. It's a good opportunity to... Kind of juice... Takes more shots at the uh, rocket tower. Not a bad juice, not the best one. Again, probably best way for a Fuji wave to do that when they're more distracted. I don't think I was using my product grenade as effectively to to shut down the the rocket towers. And again, knowing to back off, knowing to go and heal. So, and you know, spend your cash. I know a lot of people sort of save up, hoping that jackpot will sort of. Uh, Backdoor the enemy and save the day, but you got to think if you had spent that four thousand on bouncers or, or healing yourself or juice, you might not need to buy that jackpot in the first place. And in some cases, the game might be lost before the jackpot's even uh, the four thousand even in your uh, account. So, so think about that. Consider what you can buy right now to help your team the most, because in many cases, a bouncer early on will help way more than late game jackpot. And jackpots are a huge risk. If a team knows um, that they're aware with their lanes, it's very easy to kill a jackpot, and you're just basically feeding your, your enemy team a lot of money. So she just uh, juiced, so I'm going to head and I'm going to, I'll back off. Because the yeah, railgun, at close, especially close range, can really uh, eat away your life. Again, if I knew more about the class, I could probably have uh, killed her because of the level difference, but like I said, play it safe. I see it's going well enough for me. I see the assassin there trying to sneak up on a... I'm not really sure what she was trying to do actually, but... Carter. Once again, tank over... He's, uh... Overextending. Gunslinger, I think the Gunslinger couldn't tell with the, uh, product grenade, but... I'm pretty sure the Gunslinger summoned the, uh... Summoned that bouncer to sort of, uh, take care of him. So again, just think about how you can use a bouncer, think how they'll uh, effectively uh, stop the team, distract the team, if not outright kill them. Right, right now, this support really can't focus on what he wants to do, because he's got to deal with that. So I can sneak up on them, take out the support real fast. And yeah, Blackjack, not the best, but he'll distract, he can distract the uh, tank while we kill the money ball. And that's about it. Once again, some safe, conservative uh, enforcer slash tank play. Hopefully y'all learned something from this, and you can see the scoreboard, see how many, you see the breakdown, and that's it. I'll see y'all next time.